All right, welcome back everyone. It's so high here. And in this video, we're back with another Borderlands 3 Legendary Gear Guide. And this will be showing you guys how to get the Legendary TD or Shotgun, The Creeping Death. Red text is I creep across the land, plus 189% weapon damage, plus 432 splash damage radius. Consumes 2 ammo per shot, 1.5 times weapon zoom. Damage is 6,469. Accuracy is 83%. Handling is 60%. Reload time is 2, point, oh, well, two seconds. Fire rate is 1.84 a second with a 12 mag size. This one here does corrosive damage, and every one you get will always deal corrosive damage. Now, I want to go and tell you guys real quick here. The, oddly enough, the, in order to get this, we might have some Game of Thrones spoilers. It's gonna be kind of. I know it's a little bit weird, but you'll see here in a second. In order to get this weapon, make your way to the anvil, and we're gonna be killing an enemy called the Mother of Grogans. This enemy is really cool because mainly because, as you guys, some of you guys know, I recently just got through watching Game of Thrones. And this reference is actually really cool in order to get this weapon. So the person who drops this weapon, like I said, is the Mother of Grogans. And you'll see her full name here in just a minute. Uh, it is the Mother of Grogans, the Uncorroded Queen of the Sewer Kingdom is her full name. She's actually located right here, which is another reference to Game of Thrones, West of Gross. That is a reference to Westeros, which is the continent they are all fighting over. In order to get her to spawn, you have to open up this crate, and then after you do, she will spawn with her three Grogans. Obviously, that is also a reference to the three dragons that she has in Game of Thrones. But there she was right there. And if you've watched the show, you know this is a reference to Daenerys Targaryen, the true queen of the Seven Kingdoms. So that's where the uh, sewer kingdom comes in. That's, uh, you know, seven kingdoms. And then her three dragons as well, which is pretty cool. I really like this reference a lot, especially since I understand it now, since I've watched Game of Thrones. So it is really cool that this they actually referenced Daenerys Targaryen, who is my favorite character from the show. Now, here's the weapon in action. Basically, what this thing does is it shoots these little mini grenades. And whenever you throw... The weapon to reload since it is a TDR weapon the grenades will actually like merv it will like track and lock on to wherever you throw it at and go towards that and explode now here for the first couple tries it would not really work here on the practice dummy but you'll see here when I throw it off to the side you see it works right there uh, you throw you shoot these grenades out and you throw it to a location they will all track towards that and explode now they also explode on hit as well Though if you directly impact someone with these grenades, they'll explode and they'll do damage, which they won't be able to like, uh, they won't go towards the weapon whenever you throw them. They'll already be exploded. Now, bad thing. Now, I love the way you get this weapon. I love the Easter egg with Daenerys Targaryen. I love all the Game of Thrones Easter egg and everything like that. But just like the last episode of Game of Thrones, this weapon is pretty terrible. Uh, it is, uh, I cannot get it to work. It is a very bad weapon from what I can tell so far. I haven't found out any way to really make it work yet. The You're, you're going to see here, this is the craziest thing. Throughout this entire gameplay, you're going to see here, I do not kill a single enemy with this weapon. Not a single person. The, I've kill, I killed the drones with my light show because I needed a second wind. And that is it. I literally did not kill a single one of these enemies with this weapon throughout this entire gameplay. I couldn't kill anyone with it. That's just how bad it is. Like I said, just like the uh, just like the final episode of Game of Thrones, it's bad. I don't know if, if that was uh, they meant to do that or what, but <laughs> but it is uh, it's just not it's just not working. But yeah, other than the weapon being really bad. I did actually enjoy this Easter egg, and now that I've watched Game of Thrones, I can actually appreciate it. I've known about this Easter egg for a while, uh, ever since like the, I think it was like the second week the game came out, I've known about it. I just didn't really know what it was, and but now that I've watched Game of Thrones, I can appreciate the reference. And I am really glad to decide to reference Daenerys Targaryen, since she was my favorite character from the show. But yeah, that's all I have in this video, guys. Feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you guys enjoyed the video. 
and I'll see you guys on the next one.